Hey, this is Gary Kay. We're here at ISC 2020, first day of the show. I was walking the aisles and I saw Mitch Klein uh, of the uh, Z-Wave Alliance. Uh, first off, uh, congratulations on a great uh, last uh, 60 days. It's been amazing. Yeah, we've had a really good, good. it's been a good year, actually. It's been a good ride yeah. since Silicon Labs picked this up. Yeah, and, and it's interesting. Z-Wave has been around for a long, long, long time. But the big announcements came just in the last uh, couple of months, certainly, with That's some right. of the big adopters. That's talk right. about that for just a second. First off, talk about Z-Wave Alliance real quickly. Tell everybody what it is and then what the big announcements were. So Z-Wave Alliance, as you know, we've got over 700 members. And the Alliance is there for our members who basically build or resell Z-Wave products. We have the actual biggest ecosystem of products out there. We've got over 30 wireless certified control. wireless control and devices with 100% focus on the smart home. So anything from security panels and window sensors and, and uh, door locks, keypads, things like that are all, all Z-Wave. So yeah, it's been a great ride. And what about the big announcements in the last 30 or so days? So Some big right. manufacturers adopting it. That's right. So first of all, what we've done is we've decided that Z-Wave has had such good successes, but there are certain verticals and markets whereby there's a bit of a restriction about buying from a sole provider. Yeah. So Silicon Labs made a decision to spin off Z-Wave into an independent SDO. So that's going to happen probably towards the end of the second quarter. There are other silicon companies who are all lined up and ready to start building it. So as much success as we've had before, it's about to expand dramatically into new markets with additional uh, additional platforms. And you've got uh, Google using it now, adopted a Z-Wave Alliance for some of their products, right? You've got Amazon, you've got Apple talking about so it as well. You've got a lot of manufacturers talking about that's it. That's actually been a little bit of a confusing point. So there's yeah. another initiative called the Connected Home Over IP. Yeah. And they're all working now with the Zigbee Alliance yeah. in terms of trying to come up with an application layer where it wouldn't matter which device you buy, and okay. it's actually going to work. Now, again, but it would still work on, on Z-Wave, right? It's a bit, of, actually it's Zigbee, but, it, but um, it's a bit of a stretch, and uh, we believe that it's likely to happen because you've never really seen companies like Amazon, Google, right. and Apple all working together towards the same thing. So we're pretty excited about where that's going to go. That's on the Zigbee side. Right. Now on the sub-gig, that's, that's where Z-Wave is, on right. the sub-gig, and we're working towards that as well. Yeah, and, and uh, well, you have, what did you say, 700 members already? Over, yeah, it keeps growing, over 700 members. I right. think all my products in my house are going over Z-Wave uh, in one way or another, uh, communicating. Uh, it's compatible with all the, the, the sort of APIs that everybody uses from all the big companies, and then, of course, uh, all the devices. You basically just plug and play. I mean, it works almost seamlessly. Um, I know it's been a long journey to get there, and you've got a gr you've been in the uh, home AV industry for I don't long know time. thirty years at least, right? I'm not going to say how long in public. It's been I was at least just say, as I've, long as you. I've known easily, the industry right? for thirty years. So I know you've been <laughs> right. in, when I got in the industry, you were famous. So you've been in the industry <laughs> longer than me, and you're still famous. Right. Um, uh, but uh, but you time. helped drive a lot of standards over the years, and yes. you've helped drive sort of sort of a, a um, um, sort of a simplification of the yeah. of the uh, whole residential world for a long time. So I think this was a natural fit for you to to champion this. How's it been? I have to say, I never thought being in the silicon business would be as exciting as it is. But we really are mapping out the future of everything IoT, not yeah. just home. Right. So it's, it's really a pretty exciting place. I'm really enjoying it. And, and you started out by <laughs> saying focused on smart home, but I was thinking to myself, why wouldn't you branch out of smart home eventually? Because exactly. the smart home devices are being used outside of the home, like cars and, and devices that are being, you know, that people are taking with them, like, like tablets and things like right. that. I mean, don't you think there's going to be a natural branching out into in both directions, where yeah. people are bringing office stuff at home and then also home things back to the office? No question, absolutely. And again, this is one of the reasons why we, we spun it off to go public, yeah. because we can't hit all the different markets. We've stayed very focused on smart home, as you've indicated, yeah. but there are huge opportunities in the commercial, in the industrial, in the automobiles, so yeah, stay tuned. It's yeah, all, I, gonna, all gonna come together, there's no doubt. And, and you, I mean, if you look up uh, Z-Wave Alliance and just Google partners, you're gonna see every brand that you've heard of that's making anything in the home is, is using it. Um, get more information, is it zwavealliance.com or .org? Uh, .org, z-wave, zwavealliance.org. Yeah, z-wavealliance.org. That's right. um, of course, uh, we've got a lot of home stuff to cover here at the show. This is a unique show because this is the world's only home and commercial show together. 
uh, here in Amsterdam. It's moving to, uh, to, uh, to Barcelona next year, but we're going to show you both home and commercial products here. You can see all of our ISE coverage at raypubs.com slash ISC2020. Mitch, thanks for joining Gary, me today. It's a Appreciate Great it. Good to seeing see you again. Yeah, We've year. known each other for uh, literally 30 some years, right. and uh, it's been a great ride. Thanks for watching.